there's just something so special about fresh cut flowers and bringing them into your home, making it just bright and vibrant for the springtime. I love the change of seasons and spring just to me means a new start and warmer weather which I am totally looking for with having so many sicknesses run through our house and these fresh cut flowers just purchased at Walmart just add that nice vibrant touch to my spring decor and I am definitely going to be buying fresh cut flowers weekly up until my own home raised flowers can be brought into the house. Well, if you're new, I am Davy Killian. Welcome to my channel. I am doing a spring decorate with me. This is an open challenge hosted by Heidi Sambo and Domer Home. So go check out their channels in the description box as well as the playlist. But I'm going to bring you along with me as I decorate for spring. I have a rather vintage farmhouse style decor is what I'm going to call it and I have not bought anything to add to this decorating. I just am pulling out some faux greenery, rearranging a little bit, using some of my old vintage books that I've got and just going to be decorating for you and I will be having an official spring home decor tour later on not totally at the end of this video because otherwise this video will get super long for you and you don't want that. I thought it was fitting to also use fresh fruit for spring just with a vibrant color so I'm just refreshing up my fruit bowl and just making my kitchen ready for the spring. I really have to say I loved decorating for a couple days, especially seeing this sunlight come in in the evening as I'm redoing my couch pillows. Um, I just love that golden hour and with the rays of sun shining through, it just made it feel like oh, the spring, it's here, it's coming, the birds are chirping and it's time to put away the red and white checkered pillow covers that I got from Amazon and just mess with the couch a little bit, use some different pillows I have had on hand, some pillows I found thrifting a couple weeks ago, and just make it cozy in a place that I feel comfortable just falling into. It is a secondhand couch. We got our couch and love seat set for $100 couple years ago and so it's definitely used but we love it and it's just so comfortable and I'm making it my cozy place that I would want to fall into and sit on.
Miss Bilton has been rather a love-hate relationship for me as it is actually an old doorway with a giant mirror on the other side. So in a way, it's kind of a tacky way to create a built-in, but I'm trying to style it the best I can. And honestly, I enjoy it, I do. And I am just putting up some milk glass that I found uh, while thrifting throughout the years, some vintage books, um, and then some of that lavender that I am putting up in those top milk glass containers are actually from the Dollar Tree and I just cut them apart. So just use little things you have on hand and make it cozy, make it warm, make it a place you enjoy just sitting and looking at. Decorating often requires a lot of trial and error. I've been experimenting with this eucalyptus plant and just other plants that I, faux plants that I have, trying to arrange them how I want. And really, it's just, you gotta try it. And if you don't like it, you gotta rearrange it and see what works for the area that you're decorating and make the vignette something that you enjoy, like I've mentioned earlier. day two of my decorating and Nevaeh and I are starting our essential oils getting a little nice smell going I'm using some lavender and lemon just to freshen up the air and it's also good for baby congestion so anyway we are decorating still our little corner here and she's helping me to the best of her abilities right
shelves in my kitchen are an area that I wanted to keep pretty simple. The bottom has some of our mail in it, so that has to stay, but some of the other items are just some thrift finds. I'm adding some of my vintage books and some faux greenery to my copper bowl that I've got. And then I remembered that my sister-in-law gave me this little yellow creamer and sugar set so I thought why not put that out to add some pop of color for the springtime. Again like I said it is all trial and error until you find out what you like and how it is arranged and that you love it.